All right, so we're going to talk about the snipping tool. You mean scissors? No, no, not not scissors. This is for Windows. Oh, like a glass cutter. No, not glass cut. This is for the Windows operating system on your computer. But I use Linux. Well, then I didn't make this video for you, okay? Go fly a kite. But if you have Windows, then you already have this on your machine. If you have Vista or higher, you can click on the Windows button in the bottom left. And in the run box, you can type snipping or snipping tool, and it should pop up. You can just hit enter. And this little box right here will pop up, and it allows for different ways to capture bits of your screen and to also annotate it. So let's take a look at the different ways that you can do it. You have the free form, which allows you to kind of like squiggly uh, line your way around different things and select bits of the screen. You have the rectangle snip, which lets you drag a line from point to point. Um, to select a rectangle and then you have the window snip so if you have a window open it will create a red box around the active window and if you click on it then it will capture that snip and then you have the full screen which is kind of like hitting print screen and it's gonna grab everything so let's take a look at the freeform you'll notice that the screen becomes frosted and it doesn't really help you much in this uh, freeform section here but you can see that I'm just gonna select a squiggly line around it and it's captured that bit so now I can come up here and I have different pens that I can use to add some annotations I have blue uh, there's a custom pen where you can uh, customize it so if you go to customization you can select the color the thickness the chisel so we'll change it to round it's a little different you can also highlight stuff as well there's a highlighter and you'll notice that it doesn't cover anything like the other annotations do this just adds a little bit of a yellow tint over it and you can also remove the ones that you don't want as well so once you've added all that you can either save it or you can hit copy and it will stay in your windows clipboard and you can paste it into other things uh, like a different file or image editing program or you can paste it into an email or you can click up here send snip and it will open up a new message in your default email application with the image already inside it so those are just a couple of things that you can do let's take a look at another one so I'm going to use the rectangle snip now and you'll see that as I drag it along a portion of the screen that I've selected will be um, unfrosted and that's the part that will be copied into the snipping tool and once again I could do other things like annotate it highlight it do different stuff like that um, there are a little bit of options in here but basically it's just for grabbing portions of the screen and adding simple annotations and I'm just surprised that a lot of people don't know that it's already on their computer so I wanted to make a quick video it's something that I use a lot I find it to be very useful uh, so use it whenever you need it but you got to know about it first and now you know so thanks for watching